Good afternoon guys and welcome to today's vlog. I think it's already almost two o'clock. Let me look. It's been a pretty lazy day. Yep, 158. But the kids are playing on the trampoline. I can't show you because Jackson doesn't have any clothes on. We're at that stage guys. We're at that stage. But the kids have just been playing in the pool this morning. We got them a new pool because the pool that we got them, the purple part, so the top part, it blows up and I got tired of finding holes. I cannot find any holes in it, but it will not, well we did, we found four little bee holes and we patched those. But it will not stay aired up. It'll stay aired up for like an hour and then it deflates and then that helps hold the water in. So it's just going in the trash. It's going in the trash. So got them a new pool yesterday and they love it love it I don't know why we just didn't go with this in the first place no idea but we have it now so this is what we got them there we go this is the pool that we got them are you okay yeah what okay <laughs> <laughs> You're silly. So they like this. They can actually swim in it, and they love it. I've got to clean up this back porch. It is a wreck. So there's the diapers out here, and the kids have just come over here and just destroyed all this because they don't put their toys up. Oh, look, there's another diaper. Jackson just comes out here and takes his diapers off. Ah, I don't even know what to say about it. It's, that's just what he does. So, the kids have been popping those poppers. Yeah, we've been doing that like daily. So, those are all over the back porch. Those are sure fun to step on um, and then go off and you not expect it. Gives you a little heart attack. So, anyways, that's what I'm gonna do. Hold on, my foot was kind of stuck in between that bike and the chair. <sighs> but the kids have their last t-ball game tonight and then they're gonna get their awards. Tonight. Mate, Clayton, pull your britches up. I think cause they're too small. Yeah, I think that's why they keep coming off cause you can't get them pulled up very good. Um, do do do, what was I saying? Yeah, the kids have their last t-ball game tonight and then they'll get their award and then they were supposed to do it tomorrow night, the awards, but they're gonna have to do it tonight because they have too much going on with other baseball and softball things. So, yeah. You, you're too little to get in the pool? Yeah. You want me to put you in? No. No? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Alright. Let's go get you in the pool. Get the, get me, what am I trying to say? Get you in the pool and I'll start cleaning. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, anyways. Alright. Okay, go. Whoa, that was cool. Okay, now can you see me in? Good job, Clayton.
skipping rocks on the river bottom there, so. Jackson. You want the water hose? Okay. Let's bring it out here. Okay. You come in? You are a tired baby. It's on. What are you going to do? Oh, yeah? That is good. I'm washing the porch off and I washed the chairs off too and I totally forgot and I sat down around the wet chairs but that was it. It was good. It is hot out here. I don't even know what the temperature is. I think 93 or something. That breeze is coming through here and it feels really good so oh, 91 but not close enough to 93. Right? Clayton? No. I can never get my kids straight. Which ones are those? Allison and Mason are in the pool again. They are gonna be so tired for their t-ball game tonight. It is almost 4.30 and their game's at seven. They're gonna be exhausted. That's okay. That's okay. They don't play very long anyways. Each team bats twice and that's it. End of the game. Super simple and easy and fun for little t-ball players. I cannot believe it is the last week of June. Where has the summer gone? I feel like, I don't even know what I feel like. Like it feels like the kids just got out of school yesterday. But it's already fixing to be July. And then they start school in August. It is insane how fast the summer is going. And I think it's going so fast because this is our first summer that it's, what's the matter? Well come back around. Look, you have to come back around like this. No, no. But what I was saying is I think the summer felt, has felt like it's gone by so fast. It's because this is our first summer in that almost every single week we have something going on. So, like Clayton had basketball camp right after school was out and then we had Cody's family reunion. And then after we got back from that, um, Oh yeah, we decided to all catch a stomach bug. I didn't even tell y'all about that, but. So it was pretty interesting after we got back from Brilliant Re Family Reunion. So let's see, let me look at my dates. Not look at my dates. Okay, so we came back on my birthday, which was the 10th. And um, we went through Oklahoma City so we can go have lunch with my mom and my sister. And we had left Oklahoma City. We weren't that far outside Oklahoma City. Um, where were we? Chicka? No. I'm gonna have to look at the map. I was right. That's what I was gonna say, but I didn't know for sure. Chickasha. Chickasha? Chick Chickasha. I'm pretty sure that's how you say that. So, yeah, we were there because we had just went through a toll. That road has tolls on it. We took a different way home this time. So, yeah, we just went through a toll booth, and all of a sudden, Cody paid, we started taking off, and she started throwing up all in the back seat of the car. It was quite a mess because there, there was like just this big old like space that we could park in and there was traffic going each side of us. It was kind of scary. But um, yeah, so that happened and so we went further down the road and stopped at a convenience store and I just went in there and got her a shirt because she had thrown up on all of her stuff and our car was so packed full of stuff but I wasn't gonna be able to get any clothes out. So, yeah, we went and bought a shirt. So,
so we get, did she throw up? Yes. We get to, she slept for a long time, and then I think, I think it was somewhere around Dickens that she threw up again, so. It was, that was probably like a couple hours later that she threw up again. And then, so we get home that night and she was fine, and she was fine the next day. So now we're on to the 11th, and um, like, I didn't feel pukey, but I didn't feel good, and my head was pounding. I had like a sinus headache, and I had the chills, so I just did not feel very good on Tuesday, so I was just laid up in the chair all day. And then Wednesday, around lunchtime, Cody texted me, and he was like, I am very sick. And so he came home very sick, and that was Wednesday. And Thursday, nothing. Friday, uh, you have to go around. Friday, Clayton woke up not feeling good, and he just said he didn't feel good. So, but he was still playing a little bit and stuff, but he really wasn't eating. And then I had to go run errands on Friday. I had just got done paying a bill, and he threw up all in the back seat. Strawberries. Oh, it was awful. So that was Friday. Um, Saturday, Sunday, everybody was fine. Nobody was throwing up or sick or anything. So now we're back, now we're Monday, a week later. Allison's sick, again. She's throwing up sick, again. So, she was better the next day, but on Tuesday, Mason's sick. Ah, <sighs> yeah. So, nothing happened on Wednesday, and then Thursday, guess who wakes up with it? You're right, you're looking at her. Me. It was awful. I literally felt the exact same as I did when I had morning sickness. It was awful, like because I just feel like I can't do anything. So the kids had a fin for their own, so they ate chips. But by that afternoon, I was feeling better. I was able to get up. I made them a frozen pizza, loaded my dishwasher. So yeah, so yeah, that happened. That was like almost two weeks straight. That, that stomach bug was going around, and it would not stop. I just thought it's not going to stop. But yeah. I know that was a long story on why I feel like the summer's going by fast because I got off on that story, but. I think I got a touch sunburned today. So anyways, we are home from T-Ball. And the kids wanted McDonald's for supper, so we ate a quick bite at McDonald's. Then I had to go to Walmart and get bread. And I found this little set for the pool. And we're playing with it now. Then I had to go back to Walmart because I bought a couple of sugar-free Red Bulls and I left them at Walmart. So, Cody's out here building. Let's see. There we go. He's out there making um, like a paper holder for invoices. For work, for his desk. And, yeah. I was supposed to be outside. It's really nice outside right now, except for the bugs. But that's just summertime for you. This is cold. These are probably the, um, the most dangerous fireworks. Huh? No, far from. These are the most dangerous fireworks in the whole, right? I'm gonna put mine's ready now. No, 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 no. So I'm gonna, gonna put this, this thing. You gonna hold it, Jackson? I'm gonna put this thing. Small book. I'm making a heart. Mason, come here. Grass. <laughs> Ow! Woo! Did you get sparked? Oh, I'm freaking out now. I put the lighter in between my legs and. Woo! That was hot. Touch the. Hot part on my leg. I'm like watching it was going to color change. I don't think it's going to color change. Ooh, that hurt. Don't like our toys, one Jackson. I'm making oh, a hot for the T ones. It's blue. Mm -hmm. And the camera's blue. Is it? Okay, let's look at my leg. It is hurting. Right there. Yeah, I got it good. Like. It's probably gonna blister up. I'm trying to get it to like focus. There we go. 
Yeah, look at that. Hey, uh, come check out my leg. I just burnt the dog poo out of it. What? Yeah, it's gonna like blister up. What'd you do? You see that? Yeah. What did you do? So I was letting the kid. Anyways, I was letting the kid do a few sparklers, or not even a few, just one a piece. Yeah. And I lit Jackson's, and after I lit it, you know, you had to kind of hold it there for a little bit. Yeah. So it gets really hot. Yeah. After I lit it, I took that lighter and was gonna hold it in between my legs so I could set the oh. sparkler in his hand. And it like pivoted down. And the end part that's been on fire. Yeah. Touched my leg. Oh. It hurts. Dang it, it stings. Dang it. I bet you anything it's gonna blister up. Oh yeah. It it looks like it it already is. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Sorry. Oh, mm. Cody knows plenty about being burned. Imagine your whole oh. hand like that. Yeah, Cody burnt his whole hand twice. The same hand. Twice. Not well about half. Half of my right hand. But it's the same hand. Yeah. But you burn it twice. Really bad, yeah. Mm -hmm. One of them when we weren't dating, and the second one we were dating. Yeah. And your hand blistered up so bad. Yeah. The first you, time it, you it used bubbled Dawn, up like an inch tall. Yeah. The second time, I remember you would come to the house with Dawn soap packets. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have feeling in that hand now? Not a whole lot. <laughs> not, not in this area. Yeah. So anyways, I'm going to put the kids to bed. They're driving me bonkers. I think we're going to go to bed too. Tomorrow's Friday. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are new to our channel, be sure to subscribe. Friday means it's the weekend. You're so tired. We'll see you on our next video. Bye.